welcome back everyone today we are going to be talking about how we can bake our geometry and by baking i mean we usually use our displacement map in a procedural method that means we can only preview it in ipr so what if we want to generate that ipr preview in real time for example actually deforming our geometry for example if i have a simple plane here and uh, if there's a displacement map applied to this we'll see the displacement in the ipr as if it was like this but in reality it was like this in the viewport all right we can only preview our terrain in ipr if we are applying a displacement map so what if we want to bake that into a real geometry on this plane so we can view that in viewport because there's a lot of things that we cannot do in a procedural method for example if that uh, displacement is only seen by an ipr we cannot use something like a collision or mash or n particles or anything like that because right now what n particle will calculate is only a linear plane so we'll see how we can bake our geometry according to that so what we are trying to do is instead of only watching this in ipr we are trying to actually deform this into something like this okay so start off with i'm going to take a simple plane here i'm going to scale this up and uh, we usually take our displacement in the ipr procedural method because we want to save our time in the rendering by reducing our geometry or polygons well, in this scenario, we have to actually increase the subdivision to get more better result. So by default, if you look at here, we have 10 by 10 subdivision. Uh, we'll go somewhere around 100 and 100. You can also keep it to 10 and add more uh, subdivision using the Arnold's procedure subdivision if you want, which we'll get into later on. But for the demonstration purpose, I think this is a good amount of subdivision to start off with. Right, so the next thing that we want is uh, we want to apply some material so I, I already have a material created here which is i'm using one of my terrain from my terrain collection volume one uh, if you want this pack it will be in the description so i'm gonna apply this to my plane here terrain and uh, let's quickly take a physical sun and sky and ipr and here you go you can see this is our terrain here what i'm going to do is um the displacement is too much so what i'm going to do is quickly reduce this by simply 0.100 that's too low maybe like 0.500 and uh, i think this is good let's keep it to some of 0.800 all right that is looking quite good uh, i think we have to reduce it 0.6 uh, that's good so here uh, if i zoom in here you'll notice that we are getting some rigid edges right about here like for example let's say i don't want to use 100 by 100 subdivision i'm going to pause this and quickly let's make this somewhere around 20 and 20 and here you'll see we have much lesser good looking result because we don't have enough subdivision but i'm going to select my plane here in the attribute i will go to arnold and here i will add a subdivision method character and instantly you'll start to see that we are getting more better result i'm gonna increase iteration and by iteration it basically means the subdivision level the more iteration you increase the more subdivision you are adding to your plane so if i make it two and control u to uh, update the full scene again you can click here as well so i'm gonna zoom out and the more amount of subdivision increase the more better result you're going to get so you can add subdivision using the procedural method as well if you want all right so uh, one thing to keep in mind here this is what we are seeing in the ipr and this is what uh, our real time plane looks like so what we were trying to do is make this preview in the real time in the viewport right now so i'm going to quickly get it, uh, rid of the subdivision and i'm going to make this 100 by 100 and i'm going to close this and if you go to arnold here you'll see a uh, bake selected geometry and this is what uh, going to convert that geometry that displacement map into a real geometry and once you click this it will ask you where do you want to save this geometry so i'm going to click here and this is my default path i'm just quickly going to save this wherever this path is and i'm going to copy this path just in case i'll need it afterwards so i'm going to save here terrain underscore one and save so i've saved my obj file and if i want i can simply delete this plane all right i have nothing here and i'm gonna browse my folder wherever my terrain was and i'm gonna drag and drop it over here so now here you'll notice that we are getting nice subdivision and terrain series so we can increase more 
subdivision here if you want we can instead of taking 100 by 100 we could have taken 500 and 500 and which will which would have given us more level of details but uh, here we have our terrain so what we can do is we can apply the same material here now obviously we don't need the displacement anymore so what we can do is we can disconnect our height and we can keep the normal map as it is so we'll still get that kind of level of detail so i'm going to disconnect this close this all right so i've disconnected my displacement map if i turn on my ipr here so you're still getting very nice textures uh, i think uh, the glossy texture is not exactly glowing with uh, sorry going with this kind of look here there you go so a normal map is still acting pretty nicely here you can see all the pores and everything here all the nice rocks and all the terrain look so this looks pretty nice so again if you want to add more uh, subdivision to your geometry you can do that by simply adding more subdivision to your plane before baking it before baking your geometry so this pretty much technique goes with everything you don't have to like uh, use it with a displacement map you can create on your own like for example you can use this and i'm gonna make this somewhere like 200 by 200 which is a lot of subdivision and i can simply uh let's create a new material you can also use a subdivision of uh, cataclysm or linear let's call this a and um, let's go to the hypersheet and in this hypersheet i'm gonna open up the graph network i'm gonna come here and search for noise let's take ai noise and this will be a noise let's make this something like this let's add something like this and let's make it five by five and quickly make it as a displacement shader close this down and let's see our ipr so the displacement height is too much so i'm gonna come here and make it 0.100 and there you go so we have something like this i'm gonna reduce it even more to somewhere about two and here you'll see that we have nice um, one thing i'm gonna do is i think the overall noise here is too small so i'm gonna quickly increase all right so this seems pretty good and let's make it a world all right i have to go even lower now and let's make it 0.1 and 0.1 uh, all right this looks pretty good to me now so i'm gonna select my plane here and i'm gonna add some subdivision linear just to have a better result all right we are good to go so i'm gonna select this go to arnold utility bake selected geometry all right so i have baked it i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna delete this again drag and drop it on your empty space on your maya and there you go so now here as you can see we have much greater looking details uh, which you can see so the more amount of subdivision you keep in your plane or your object the more amount of level of detail you're going to get now if you think you have rigid edges around here which is not exactly looking nice what you can do is you can add some cataclysm here like for example i'm gonna select this and go to subdivision cataclysm and turn this on again and there you go so you have smooth edges now so i'm gonna zoom in here and i'm gonna turn this off so this is uh, what you have before like here you'll see something going on something about here in the edges like the shadows and everything you can see the rigidness like you see around here so you can solve that by simply uh, hitting the cataclysm that will you have more smooth again it will cost you at render time because you're adding more subdivision on a very high subdivision plane but yes uh, it will get you much better result so this is how you can bake your geometry your displacement map on a real polygon so have fun with this enjoy and i'll see you in the next video